Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Kimetsu no Yaiba episode 17. Excuse me. So, last episode, uh, Inosuke and uh, Tanjiro were still trying to get to the demon that was controlling all of the dead and alive demon slayers that were in the forest. Um, and Nosuke had located her, they just had to get to her. Uh, apparently, the closer you get to her, the stronger her puppets become. Uh, the string is a lot thicker, so it makes it more easier, I guess, for her to control them and do more. Um, they had to fight three more demon slayers on the way over there. I cannot remember the name of the one that's with them. Um, but he was holding off the others while they went to go and get the demon. Um, Tanjiro thought he had found a good way to stop them by tossing them into the trees, like around the branches, just kind of dangling there. But uh, when they started doing that, the demon got really upset. One, because she wants to kill them. And two, because I guess her son... Whichever one came to them telling them not to ruin their family, like, time or whatever, uh, came to her saying, you know, what's taking so long? Why aren't they dead yet? Do I need to get dead, uh, like, father? Uh, she's afraid of him. Actually, she's afraid of, uh, the kid as well. Probably because she knows he'll go and, and snitch, tell the dad, who is apparently pretty abusive towards her. Um... And she's like, no, I can handle it. And she ends up killing the uh, three or four demon slayers that they were fighting, that they had dangling in the trees. And then they got more, like, even closer. And they, I think she had a, I think it was a dead demon. It was missing its head. Um, and this one was the, she said, the most powerful puppet she had. But they were still able to defeat it with some teamwork. And Inosuke finally figuring out that Tanjiro doesn't go into these battles trying to be the one to finish the demon off or prove that he's better than somebody. He goes in there just trying to get the job done. He doesn't care who kills it or what. As long as they can get it done, that's all he cares about. Inosuke figured this out and was able to deliver the final blow after Tanjiro threw him up into the air. And then Inosuke threw Tanjiro into the air so that he can get, like, better, uh, he can smell more. Because, uh, in the forest it's, like, messing with his nose, but above it it didn't have to, whatever was causing that, and he was able to smell where she was and was able to get to her. Um, he ended up cutting her head off, but he didn't just cut her head off. He, like, showed some compassion. When she saw him coming, she was scared at first, but then welcomed it because she was like, you know, if I'm dead, then I can be free from, you know, these crazy people. And pretty much welcomed him to cut her head off. And when he saw that, he changed, I guess, whatever technique he was going to use. He was, I think he was just going to cut her head off. And then he started using one of his water techniques and it made it so it was painless. And uh, she basically died without suffering. Zenitsu, he's still looking for Nezuko, meaning he's looking for Tanjiro. <laughs> um... He's having a hard time. I don't know why he can't hear where they are. Maybe there's too much noise in the woods. I don't know. But right now it's like he, he's supposed to have really good hearing and he can't tell where Tenjiro or Inosuke or Nezuko are. But, you know, whatever. I'm sure he'll find them. Hopefully it's not when everything is over. I know he's got a demon following him right now. One of the, uh, I think it's, I think there's five of them. One of the five, like, spider demons are following him. So, 
I wonder if he's going to end up fighting it on his own when nobody's around, or if he's going to find them and the spider's going to come out and then they're going to fight. He's going to pass out and show them what he can do. But anyway, let's get into this and see what we're in for. Alright, so the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in 3, 2, 1. 